about random forest my name is ronak vyas and this video is a collaboration with programming knowledge to watch more videos on machine learning and programming do subscribe to the channel this video is an introduction to random forest for in depth understanding please refer to the links in the description a big part of machine learning is classification that is we want to know what class an observation belongs to the ability to precisely classify observations is extremely valuable for various business applications like predicting whether a particular user will buy a product or not or whether a loan has to be given to a person or not in this video we'll talk about the random forest classifier random forest is a flexible easy to use machine learning algorithm that produces even without hyperparameter tuning a great result most of the time it is also one of the most used algorithms because of its simplicity and diversity it can be used for both classification and regression so before learning about random forest one must know how decision trees work so make sure that you know what are decision trees before watching this video you can find a very good explanation of decision trees in the link in the description so let's start what are random forests mm -hmm. random forest is a supervised learning algorithm the forest it builds is an ensemble or a group of decision trees usually trained with the bagging method we'll talk about bagging a little late in the video the general idea of bagging method is that a combination of learning models increases the overall result now let's see what this means in simple layman terms random forests build multiple decision trees and merges them together to get a more accurate and stable prediction each individual tree in the random forest spits out a class prediction and the class with the most votes becomes our model's prediction in the figure six decision trees predict one and one predicts a zero hence the final prediction of the classifier is one now the fundamental concept behind random forest is a simple but a powerful one the wisdom of crowds now what does that mean a large number of relatively uncorrelated modules or decision trees operating as a committee will outperform any of the individual constituent models or individual decision trees this is the most fundamental concept in random forest the low correlation between models is the key the reason for this wonderful effect is that the trees protect each other from the individual errors while some trees may be wrong many other trees will be right so as to group so as a group of trees are able to move in the correct direction now let's see how the random forest algorithm works first create a bootstrap bootstrapped data set by randomly selecting a samples from the original data set we can pick sample from we can pick the same sample more than once then create a decision tree using the bootstrap data set but only use a random subset of columns in each step now go back to step 1 and repeat make a new bootstrap data set and build a tree considering a subset of variables at each step this results in a wide variety of trees now the variety is what makes random forests more effective than individual decision trees now how do we measure or ensure that the trees diverse these trees diversify each other bagging helps us here bootstrapping the data and using the aggregate to make a decision is known as bagging random forest takes advantage of this by allowing each individual tree to randomly sample from the data set with replacement resulting in different trees next is feature randomness each tree in a random forest can pick on can pick only from a random subset of features in a normal decision tree when it is time to split a node we consider every possible feature and pick the one that produces the separation between the observation in the left node versus those in the right node in contrast each tree is a random forest can pick only from a random subset of features this forces even more variation among the trees in the model and ultimately results in lower correlation across trees and more diversification so since we are selecting random features in multiple decision trees they ensure that this will diversify all of the decision trees when combined together 
Now, how do we implement this? For the implementation, we have two choices. We can either use the scikit-learn library to import the random forest model and use it directly, or we can write our own model from scratch. We will implement random forest using scikit-learn in the next video. Thank you.